Hey there, and welcome to this tutorial about animating in Adobe XD. I'll show you this animation that we will do together, and it it's a simple animation that triggers when you click as well. So it's a hamburger symbol to an X and then back. Okay, so let's start by creating a new object and <laughs> a new project, and it won't matter which size you take, right? So I'll take an iPhone size here. That will be good for now, I guess. You can choose whatever you want. And so, animating works by using the pen tool and we draw a board, right? For each state, from this board to this one. So we start off with a hamburger. So I'll try my best to creating a hamburger. So we draw a line here and we increase the border size. That's a thick hamburger, that's nice. And then I take some rounded corners here and I'll try to find the middle here, that's great. And now I'll copy paste, so control V, uh, control C, control V. And if you are having a Mac, I have no clue what the shortcuts are, but you know them better than me, I guess. So now we have a nice hamburger, okay. So what I'll do, I'll press the artboard name here and hit Control D to duplicate it. So I want the hamburger to go to this state here. So we will modify this one. And I don't want it to go to cross directly. Um, as you saw, they all minimized to one line like this. And then they switched and became a cross. So we'll drag these ones and like hide it on top or yeah, under here. Okay. And then we go from this line to a cross. And just to see where we are, how it's working, let's hit prototype tab up there so we can check out how far we've come. So we press this artboard and we see this little arrow here. So we can drag and drop it onto this artboard. And then it will ask us, how should a transition be? Well, we want it to happen on a tap, not when we drag or automatic after some time. So we want it on tap trigger. And here the action should always be auto animate in our case. So that's the most important. And there we can even tweak the easing and duration, but we'll keep those. We can maybe change them later. And let's hit play up here. So we try click. And that that was smooth, right? I'll play it again. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's continue. So hit back to the design tab here. And we'll duplicate this artboard. And now we can create the cross, right? So I'll rotate this one. And if I'm holding shift, as you can see here to the right, I get perfect angles, right? So I'll want 45 degrees. And then I want to increase them so they're as wide as this one. And we get some nice blue lines here by Adobe XD. So we'll just follow them. This one we rotate 45 degrees as well. And we expand the lines so we get two blue, I think. Maybe like that. I said two blue, but yeah, two blue like that one. Why didn't I get two blue here? There, perfect. And the middle one, we just shrink it. We hide it in here in the middle, right? So now you saw that this one goes down, this one goes up. And from this line to the X, they will rotate and the middle one will shrink to them there. Yeah, we'll, you'll see here. So we head back to prototype. We have these three. So we set up the first one to go to this line when we click. And this one, want, we want it to go to an X. So we drag it on top of this one. And I mean, it shouldn't trigger on a tap, right? It should be immediately. So when this animation is done, it will continue to the next one. And that's when time is good. And zero second means immediately when it's done. 
we could always set the delay, but in our case we want zero. And it should be auto animate, of course, and we can keep the normal easing and duration settings here. So let's see. I press play. We have it here. I put it to the yeah middle. Looks good, right? I'll play it again. So that's some smooth animation. And now, if we want to have the same animation back, because we want to be able to click the X again, well, it won't work, I'll tell you, to go back to this one. Because you see, if we head back to this one on tap, it would be perfectly fine. But when we head back to this one and the animation is done, it will it has a trigger to go to the X, right? So um, how do we fix this one? Well, we need a copy, a same uh, like this one. So we go to, to the copy of this one and back to the hamburger. So we check back to our design, I'll zoom out, and we take a copy like duplicating this one. So hit Control D, and now, now we can prototype. So head back to prototype there. And we go from the X to our copy. And it will be on tap, right? Auto animate. And when this one is done, it will go to the X. Because that is perfectly fine. Because when, when it expands to a hamburger, it won't auto animate again immediately. It will wait for a click. And when we click, it will, yeah, you'll see. So this one, from a single line to the hamburger, it will be directly. So I hope you understood this one, right? Because when we're on the hamburger, I'll play here. It was a, a tap trigger. And the tap will stop when we come to the X. Because to the line, it will be immediately. I mean, it won't stop on the line. It will stop here on the X. And when we hit X, it won't stop on this line. It will keep going to the hamburger. And it's fine that it stops here because it won't keep going to somewhere else, right? So we'll check it out. So we press. That's nice. We press again. Wow, smooth. Looks cool, right? So <laughs> hopefully you understood what I mean, right? So it can be confusing, but when you see all these lines, it will make sense that you won't go in a circle or something. And sometimes when animating artboards, apps like this, you might need some duplicates of the screens when you want to prototype back and forth between artboards. Because some artboards will have immediately triggers to something else that will go in a another direction. So that's it. It's super simple and hopefully your thoughts will be on what to animate next. So it's very simple to make, you know, search icons, home icons, whatever you want. Uh, and you can export them like videos, GIFs um, to show to, let's say, developers so they can integrate it with CSS or something else to the real users. Well, okay, <laughs> so that's it. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have a good day. Bye.